the inside. The rebound numbers are very even. Yeah, I've been impressed with just both teams' energy, just really working hard on the boards. Stolen by Harden. Ahead. Splitter with the ball. Jefferson picks him up. Count that one. Whatever their plan was defensively that time, it, it didn't work. Not if it results in that shot. Blake kicks to Barnes. Adds out of bounds for the Hornets as Charlotte retains possession. And some changes here for the Hornets. Tony Turioff is checked in for Jefferson. And Darrell Wright has subbed in for Matt Barnes. Here's Turioff. Good. And the assist goes to Blake. Seems like they're on their heels every time defensively because the ball continues to go into the post. Well, if they don't pick up the aggression, things are only going to get worse. Novitski gets a wide open look. And the baseline jumper, no good. Here's a follow. And it's blocked. There's 25 seconds left in the first half. Diaw with the steal. Alfalo dishes to Blake. Alfalo left side. Baseline try. The shot will not go. What is the defense doing there? I mean, he is not. And we're through two here in a good one. Mavericks ahead. Up four. And we'll be back right after halftime to get the third quarter underway. And it's been a back-and-forth game so far with no ground given through the first half. Third quarter starting here now. What can you say? Al Jefferson, an impressive effort here today. How about his scoring in the first half? I mean, he's looked like a different player out there today. He really has, Steve. It's been a pleasant surprise for him, that's for sure. I mean, he really hit on something that worked in those first two quarters. Drill Wright is up there with Boris Diaw. Then there's Kent Baseman. Then there's Calderon. And it's Turioff in the center filling out the middle. And that's the group for Steve Clifford as we begin the second half. Here's Novitsky. That's in, coming off an assist from Rubio. Rubio's got six assists in the game. Man, a pleasure to watch him work at that end of the floor. Now the pass to Calderon. Right with it. And it's Harden picking him up. Five on the clock. With a tie. Charlotte made some nice improvements in how they played last year, particularly at the defensive end of the floor. But offensively, they still were a team that didn't scare anybody from behind the three-point line. Looking to get it going. That's it, and the Dallas lead is cut down to one in the bucket from Boris Dia. It's Harden with the drive. The feet to Nowitzki. Dia with the steal. Here's Baysmore. Boy, I love it. Active hands on the steal, active feet on the fast break. And Clark Power on the dunk. Hey, guys, this is just too close of a game to be giving the ball up like that and then failing to get back in transition. Outside Dang. Inside. Splitter passes to Nowitzki. And Rubio kicks to Dang. Pulls up. High post. That's short off the rim. Hornets have gone three or four so far in the third quarter from the field. Oh, how about that basketball oh, man. fan? Wow. Man, he got fancy with that one, didn't he? Yeah, maybe trying to give them the momentum boost they need to break this game open. Yeah, I like that. I mean, some coaches might want to see just a, a sure-handed lay-in, but I'd say put as much as you can on the finish and get your teammates going. Dallas calls timeout. Yeah, he is none too pleased with the play of his club out there. And looks like they need a little time to get things sorted out here. I don't know of any coaches that would be too happy if they just saw their team give up a run like this one.
Here's Rubio. The Hail Mary from beyond half court is off target. It has not been an ideal start to the second half. They've missed three of their first four. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. And he gets it to go. And that's why teams emphasize the use of screens and picks, just to get you some open looks like that one. And Bazemore kicks the jury off. Calderon dishes to Diaw. Back to Calderon. He feeds it to Diaw. Four on the shot clock. It's rebounded by Dallas. Ten's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And Rubio kicks to Harden. That three off the mark. Charlotte has gone one and two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. It's stolen by Dang. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. You know, even from here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Yep, pretty obvious. And a good call by the official. Well, the Mavs took some heat when they opted not to try to defend their 2011 championship with the same players opting for cap room instead. And, you know, they've swung and missed on some big names, but they've put together a really deep club with some very smart signings. Looking at who's out there now for the Hornets. Jefferson's checked in for Tori. And Jeff Adrian subbed in for Boris Dia. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. And you know, when it comes to Dirk Nowitzki, he has said, he's on the record of saying he wants to retire a map. Ownership, anyway, has reciprocated that desire. But the greatest player in franchise history deserves to finish out strong in legitimate contention. And they committed the resources to try to make that be a reality. Here's Wright. Five points in the game. He dishes it to Calderon. And Bazemore kicks to Adrian. Calderon for three. Mavericks leading by three. Harden outside. Lets it fly from 18. Tries to keep it alive. Nowitzki, the pass to Harden. Nowitzki with the screen on Jefferson. Harden. And it's blocked by Wright. Holderon dishes to Adrian. Feeds the baseman. Here's Jefferson. Shots good. Jefferson's got 17 now. And for Nowitzki, he's made financial sacrifices to enable the Mavericks, the cap space, Steve, to go out and construct this roster. Yeah, only $26 million on the books before he was re-signed, so that left plenty of shopping money, and they spent it well. The Hornets have gone 5 of 9 on field goal attempts since halftime. Jefferson set the pick for right. Shot off the screen. And again, Al Jefferson. Jefferson's got 19 points. That was an outstanding pick that gave him the room to bury the jump shot. Underrated, but not undervalued. And Rubio kicks to Dang. Offline with his three. Charlotte in the lead. Bazemore gets the bucket. Bazemore's got six in the quarter. These defenders look overmatched right now, especially inside. Yeah, you look at the numbers, 10 of the last 12 points have come from close range, so I agree. And it's Rubio penetrating. And yes, sir, that one drops. 15 points for Nowitzki. His eyes were wide open there, guys. Excellent vision to see they had an open shot outside and get it there. Pass to baseball. The kick out to right. Charlotte moving it around. Dishes it to Jefferson. And that'll be Charlotte as it goes out of bounds. Hornets retain possession. Aaron Oflala just checked in for Charlotte. Here's Wright. 
He's got five. And there's a follow. That's good on the assist by Wright. And that's 13 points for Aaron Aflalo. And Rubio kicks to Dang. Back to Rubio. In the corner. Harden tried to come right back with a three of his own. It's no good. He's going to play his way right onto the bench and out of the game if he continues to shoot it like he has so far in this quarter. Out of bounds. Charlotte takes possession. Hornets leading by four. Calderon passes to right. Looking for Jefferson. He gets it there. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Dirk Nowitzki last season back in the All-Star game is 12th and 13 seasons. As he left the knee troubles of two seasons ago in the rearview mirror. He's in top form once again. Kevin Garnett, he's checked in for splitter. Calderon with it. Guarded now by Rubio. Calderon kicks to a follow. To the inside. Adrian. Rubio with the rebound. And Nowitzki, even though late in his career, put up close to a 50-40-90 season. Missed it by only fractions of a percentage point, scoring as well as ever. And turned in his best season as far as assist-to-turnover ratio goes. Adrian kicks to Jefferson. Adrian dishes to Jefferson. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Jefferson's got the lead up to four now for the Hornets. Just another outstanding play down low. These teams couldn't be farther apart in their effectiveness in the paint today. Yeah, that's right. It's been all good at one end, and we'll try to be diplomatic here and just say not so good at the other. And Dirk Nowitzki scaling the ranks of the all-time top scorers. Last season, Stevie Bass guys like Jerry West and Rick Barry, Kevin Garnett, Alex English, the great John Havlicek, Dominic Wilkins-Steven, and Oscar Robertson. Think about that list that you just rattled off. That's incredible. Dirk moving into the top ten, and, you know, with a game based on skill and size, there's no telling how high he'll get on that list before it's all said and done. I think he's got to regroup and get himself together here. I mean, something's going wrong with him this quarter. He's really falling off. Jefferson with it. Now Garnett defender. Shot clock at six. Floats one. Jefferson's shot is off. Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. And it's Rubio penetrating the 19-foot shot. And he can't bank that one in. Charlotte leading by four. On the wing of Flalo. Calderon kicks to a Flalo. The feed now to Adrian. Goes down with both hands. An indication there of why the scoreboard looks like it does very passive defense. But the finish was anything but pass out. He hammered that down, Clark. Superb above the rim action. Dallas calls timeout. Aaron Afalo coming off his best season yet, Steve. An 18 point per game score. Shooting well from the field. Three point range and the line. And, Kevin, when you think about the efficiency, it's made even more impressive when you consider that he drew a lot of defensive focus. 